Hey guys, go to the next video. This is an ongoing series of what if Lee was in the Walking Dead TV show. Um, you guys really like the last uh, first two, so I'm just gonna get right into it. So, obviously, Glenn go back to the farm of T Dog, but this time, Lily goes with them. So when they get there, Glenn obviously on the front front porch, and like T Dog goes, "Man, let's just go in." And he's like, "Well." We don't know if people live there. And Maggie turns on, turns on, like, says hello. And looks like, oh, what's up? See, he, he says the same thing on Steve Show. They go inside, and he like, goes up to Rick, like, listen, Merle and Kenny were saying some bad things about Carl. Sometimes I wish I left Merle behind. And then, and then Glenn's like, well, well, Lee did uncuff him. Do you think you blame Lee? And Rick will respond, no, I don't blame Lee for that. I don't. I trust Lee, and you too. And Tito will be like, well, Merle did give me medicine to help my arm. Everything stays the same after this, like, for the most part. We cut back to Shane and Otis at the high school. So, obviously, they get kind of trapped, and they're like, oh my god, what's going on? They escape, and they head to the gym. Everything stays the same. Um, Shane still jumps out the window and hurts his ankle pretty bad, and they just run. They run. And Shane will, will tell Otis how much ammo we have left, and Otis respond with the the same thing he said in the show. And then obviously Shane responds the same thing. But Shane, he knew that only one will make it out of this, so he points his gun out and aims at Otis' leg and shot him. Obviously, this will say the same. Even when people there, even Kenny, Clementine, Carly, or Lee are there, nothing will change that. Otis will die no matter what, so rest in peace, Otis. Had a dog named Otis too. Love you, man. I know that's off script. It doesn't matter. Okay, anyways, so obviously Shane survives and gets out of there, and he tells a big story how Otis died. Cut to the next episode. They also save Car, by the way. Yeah. Anyways, so the group rolls up to the farm. Now here's the thing. I know Merle is you know still have his hand and he's actually with the group, but I feel like Merle wouldn't drive. You know his bike. I feel like he actually would give it to Daryl, and the reason I'm not gonna change this is because Daryl will always drive the bike, and I feel like Daryl will just keep it, and that's why I'm not gonna change this part. So I'm just gonna keep it as it is. Now I know in the game the farm is based off the comic, but just pretend, for my sake, because you know, just pretend you know Lee knows his farm very well, and Kenny too, and Carly. Wait, no, I mean not, not Carly. Car Clay was like, but Clementine too. And obviously, when the rural farm, they have the uh, the grave, and then after that, Herschel goes up to Kenny and be like, Wait a minute, Kenny's here and Lee's here too? Rick, you know these people? And Herschel will have a big fit, but technically, the most pick option was saving Sean. So he wouldn't be as mad as Kenny. He wouldn't be mad, sorry, not Kenny, he wouldn't be mad at Lee. But Kenny, he, Herschel, he will hate Kenny. But to be honest, I think Herschel will actually forgive Kenny. Because what Shane, well, spoiler by, by the way, what Shane did to his family in the barn, if you could forgive Shane, and he also forgive Andrew for almost letting his daughter opt it out, I think he could forgive Kenny. So I think Dale and Rick and Lee will calm him down, and I think Carly will also say, listen, Kenny's not a bad guy, I know him, trust me. And he lost a lot recently. And Rick like, listen... Please, if you're going to kick him out, you got to kick all of us out, okay, man? And Lee will be like, listen, I know Kenny can be a, like, a douchebag sometimes, but listen. Listen, if you're in that situation, if your son was stuck, who would you choose? Like, pretend like Sean wasn't your son. Would you choose your son in that situation? And Herschel really literally eyes like, I mean, yeah, but like, and he doesn't have an answer for it. He does not have a, he doesn't have an answer. So he's like, Kenny, I'm sorry, I forgive you, but I just want to talk to you, okay? And Kenny's like, uh, yeah, sure. And there's no bad blood between them. Everything goes the same until they start searching for Sophia. I see Rick's on the map, and then Herschel says, you can't walk around. You took too much blood out of you, and, and same thing for Shane. He has a broken ankle. If you put too much weight on it, you're going to be down for a month. Now, Daryl says, it should be me then. But here's the thing. They have Merle, 
Kenny and Lee. Now, Kenny's kind of out of it. He's kind of drunk. He's trying to sober up. So, I don't think Kenny will go. Now, I think Merle and Daryl will actually go together. And I think Lee will just be like, all right. Well, I will go around this town over here, which is the same town that Maggie and uh, Sophia go. But Rick's like, nah, don't go over there. Go over here, the same spot where Sophia got lost. See if you can find anything there. Now, when Lee goes there, there's nothing there. So, there's nothing irrelevant about that. Now, when Daryl and uh, Merle go... They obviously found nothing, the same thing, and Daryl's and Merle says to Daryl, like, listen, man, why are we looking for this girl? We both know that she's gone. And Daryl's like, we don't know that. Remember when, you were already gone, but I got lost for 13 days in the woods. I found my way back. And then obviously Merle's like, that was before the world went to shit, man. Come on, I feel like we should just lead together. And Daryl's like, listen, I like the people here. Rick, seem, Rick doesn't seem that bad. Come on. Just stay, man. If I to leave, just go, but I'm not coming with you. And obviously, Mo will be like, really? Come on, baby brother. Really not going with me if I leave? And obviously, Mo, he realized, like, he's not going to convince his brother to leave. And before he say anything, Daryl really doesn't like the group yet. The only person he likes is Rick. Now, I know, but, like, Daryl likes Rick a lot sooner in my version, or Merle and Daryl will just split off. But, you know, obviously, we need Daryl and Merle to stick together. Well, we, ju we just need Daryl, but, you know. Anyways, so they talk it out, and, like, fine. I guess I'll stay. Everything else pretty much stay the same, but there's a new scene where Clementine is staying over Carl's bed with Lori. Lori's saying, hey, Clementine, I know we really hadn't talked much, but how are you feeling? And she would respond with, I'm feeling okay, just, I'm worried about Carl. Carl's my only friend right now. I hope Sophia is fine soon. Now, in this version, sometimes a little bit softer. She hasn't been really hardened, because she has so much people around her. But don't worry, that will change in Season 3. And sometimes really worried about Carl. The, like, she's like the only friend that she has, and Lori can see this in her eyes. Nothing really happens for the rest of the episode. Glenn and Maggie, obviously, you know... You know, <laughs> yeah, you get it. And obviously, Lori still is pregnant. Now, cut to episode five. No, six. Sorry, not six, five. Six. Six. So, Lee and Kenny always run on supply runs. And I feel like Lee will kind of want to go on supply run. Now, Lee and Kenny hasn't really talked so much since the CDC because, well, Kenny kind of blew Lee off and said, don't talk to me. So, I think Lee will walk up to Rick and say, and say this. Hey, I'm going to surprise one, okay? And Rick respond with, uh, Maggie and Glenn just went. And Lee will say, well, I'm going go to I'm gonna go to this town. This town, he points at the map. It's just a random town. It, it doesn't matter. Rick says, okay, just, you're going to bring someone with you, right? Lee responds with, yeah, no, of course. Um, I'll bring Kenny or something. So he goes to Kenny back, like, listen, we're going to leave in five, okay? We're going to go to spy run. And Kenny's like, wait, wait. I need to talk to you about... My family and stuff. In the car, okay? And then, Lee's like, alright, just, uh, I'm gonna go see him come time. So Lee walks over to come time and say, listen, okay, Pumpkin, I I'm gonna go for a little while, okay? Maybe like a day or two. I'm gonna go to a town that gets that supplies. And come and come time, like, alright, just be safe. And obviously, they hug it out, and Lee and Kenny leaves. Now, there's an RV in Season 1 in the Walking Dead game. That was at the motel. They're going to use that. Even I never said it. It was in the thing. But pretend they use that. So they head to a random town in Georgia. They find some, you know, food. A gun or two. Nothing really crazy. But they hear screaming. They rush over to a abandoned car. And behind a abandoned car, there's a girl. And then we see a guy with a hammer killing a walker. They're like, you guys need help? And then a the guy with the hammer saying, nah, I'm good. Uh, who, who are you guys? Kenny says, I'm, I'm Kenny. This is Lee. Who you guys name? And then the guy with the hammer says, Donya, Donna, Ben, Alan, Sasha, and I'm Tyrese. Alright guys, listen. This is a big difference they find Tyrese in the team too, but it makes sense how Kenny and Lee find them. Kenny and Lee went on a surprise run in the game, and they never did that, and I'm not going to count Lana because it doesn't count. So I feel like they would go to a town in Georgia, even the real place they came from was in Florida. Let's say of course of that, three months they made it to Georgia, which is not unbelievable because Georgia's like literally next to Florida, so it's not too unbelievable. 
Anyways, they get, get here, and like, well, um, we have a camp. Do you guys want to come with? And Tyler says, wait, really? We were just in a bunker, and we, we know how to handle walkers and stuff, but if you guys have a camp, can, can, like, we can actually come with, right? And Sasha says, I don't, I don't, I don't know, Tyrese. Jerry was nice, but we just met these people. And then Ben and Alan were like, listen, we have to, we have to take a chance. Donya, Donya, I, I have to keep my family safe. I have to keep my wife safe and my, and my son. So they decided to go. So this is really crazy. Um, Tyrese comes a lot earlier in the series, but it's, it's cool. So when they make it back, Rick is like, uh, Lee, who are these guys? Uh, who are these people? And Herschel comes out like, oh my god, not normal people at my farm, oh my god. And then, Kenny's like, listen, listen, we, like, we heard screaming, and to be honest, we didn't save them, but th we said there's a camp and they want to join. And Rick's like, um, well, I, it's not my say so, it, it's Herschel, it's Herschel's farm. So Herschel's like, Mm, all right, you know what? Just stay. But Rick, when when that boy is fully healed, you are leaving. And he says this out loud, which the whole the whole group is gonna hear this, which is kind of because it doesn't happen in the show. But I feel like more people showed up. And Herschel will kind of be like, all right, all of you are leaving. And I don't, I know Herschel sounds like a bad guy here, but Herschel's not a bad guy. He just he just want to be left alone with his family and stuff. So nothing really happens. Of course, episode so everything goes the same with, with the with the barn stuff. Everything goes the same. But dinner scene, you know, it's a lot packed. There's like actually like five people, which is crazy. So everything goes the scene until the barn scene. Glenn still tells people that you know there's walkers in the barn. Now Tyrese will say, "Oh, I don't think this place is safe, man. Like I feel like we should go, Sasha. We should go." Sasha's like, "No, no, 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 no." These people might actually be, like, these people is safe. I, I kind of trust these people. And Ben will be like, I, I don't know, guys. It doesn't seem safe. And I'll be like, listen, Ben, you're my son, but, like, listen, you're too young. Just gonna be quiet. So, Shane wants to kill the, Shane wants to kill the walkers. And I feel like Lee will actually be with Shane. Same with Tyrese and Shasha and most of the group. Only because they want to keep their family safe. And Lee will be like, listen, Rick, I'm sorry, but... Shane's right. I don't want to risk Clementine getting bit or even worse. I'm with Shane. And Rick will still be like the same in the TV show. I'll talk to Herschel. This is not our place. This is not our farm. Everything goes the same. Shane still hunt down Dale to get the bag of guns from him. Everything goes the same. Nothing happens there. Now, when they kill the walkers in the barn, there's going to be a lot of people with Shane on this. And they might not even have enough guns. But let's say they do, because Shane and... Sorry, not Shane. Lee and Kenny did find two extra guns. So, they, they you know, kill the walkers. And I was... Hey, guys, so the, I know this, uh, uh, this is editing. I forgot they also um, did the gun training. Clementine also did that, too. I forgot to say that. I'm, I, I, it's in my script, too. I forgot to say that, and I, I'm so sorry. But anyways, can turn on the video. So... They, they kill all the walkers, and this time, when Beth go over to see her mother, um, her stepmother, I think, her stepmother, she will actually be fully dead, because there's so many people, there's Tyrese, like, I'm gonna tell all the names right now. Tyrese, Shane, Glenn, Tito, Kenny, Merle, Daryl, Lee, Carly, Lily, Andrew, etc. Like, there's so many people, I feel like they'll wipe with the walkers in a matter of, like, a minute, like, like, they, they will clear that walker so easily. But Rick will obviously walk up, see, well, Sophia. And the group morale will be so low, and obviously the newcomers, which is Tyrese and Sasha, etc., will be like, uh, who, who's this girl? And Rick will pause his gun and aim it at Sophia's head. And obviously, well, bam. She's dead. That's where I'm going to end off this part three. Don't worry, I will finish the rest of season two. Maybe a little bit of season three, maybe. So, the reason I'm ending right here because it's like 15 minutes and I don't want to make this video too long. So, part three, I mean part four, will be the end of season two. And maybe season three 
will be a little bit of part four, maybe probably part five most likely. But anyways, peace.